Back to our top story, Ronan Tumulty live at the criminal courts building with more on the dismissal of eight murder convictions. Brona. Good afternoon, guys. Yeah, tears of joy and cheers at the courtrooms here today at 26th and California as people who have collectively spent dozens and dozens of years behind bars were exonerated. They have long maintained their innocence and alleged misconduct by former CPD detective Ronaldo Guevara. Now, there were eight cases in total to be heard today. One exoneration was not granted. I'll come back to that. But three of the people involved are still currently behind bars. The first case heard this morning was that of Carlos Andino. He was arrested in 94 and currently serving a 60-year prison sentence. He was exonerated today and is expected to be released from prison today as well. Well, Alfredo Gonzalez was also exonerated and is expected to be released today as well. He was arrested in 1990 and sentenced to life behind bars. Lewis Robinson's case was heard today too. Exoneration though was not granted yet with the judge in his case saying some more steps were needed in the process. He was arrested in 96 and is currently serving a 60 year term. The next hearing in his case is scheduled for this coming Monday. David Cologne was physically in court today having previously he served 26 years in prison. He was arrested in 91 and exonerated today. Nelson Gonzalez had his sentence vacated too, having previously served 22 years following a 1998 arrest. We heard from him just a very short time ago. First of all, thank God. Thank God. God uh, gave this community that's behind me the courage to move forward. There was many obstacles in our path, but we kept pushing forward. And we're gonna keep pushing forward. We want every Guevara victim, either if they're free, finish their sentence, still incarcerated, have passed away to receive the justice that they deserve. Now Marilyn Malero was exonerated today too, having previously served 28 years for a 1992 arrest. Five of those years were spent on death row. She is the only woman thus far to be exonerated in the Guevara scandal, and she spoke with reporters a short time ago as well. Visual because I had two toddlers when I was incarcerated. And I had to fight for them. I had to be strong for them. And here I am, you know, through the struggles of prison life. You know, you go through a lot of prison. It's not, you know, pitchy pink, pretty pink like everybody picture it to be. You know, there's a lot of struggles in there. You know, you have to survive. Prison life is the survival mechanism in there. You have to portray to be something you're not in order to survive. Jaime Rios feeling the same relief today too. He served 18 years for a 1989 arrest. And Johnny Flores was the last case heard today. I spoke with him in the elevator prior to going into the courtroom. He previously served two decades for a 1990 arrest and today was exonerated. He walked out of the courtroom to cheers in the hallway. He described this as an historical day, just as lawyer Josh Tupfer did as well. There is no question in my mind that a mass exoneration, which is what you witnessed today, um, of homicide cases in one day in the city of Chicago has never happened. Uh, we all are aware of the despicable history of torture and misconduct by the Chicago Police Department, but never once has it been a clean slate in one day like this or has a policy decision been made to no longer defend uh, a particular officer. Now, Guevara, meanwhile, is now living in Texas. It's understood he is collecting pension benefits from the city of Chicago and has collected more than a million dollars from the city since his retirement in 2005. He is currently facing about a dozen civil lawsuits brought by people who have alleged uh, that they were wrongly convicted based on his investigations. He has never been charged criminally and has repeatedly invoked the Fifth Amendment when questioned about his actions whilst working on the west side of Chicago as a CP detective during the 1980s and the 1990s as well. Those exonerations today, those seven exonerations that were granted, follow about 20 others uh, that came down that were following on from cases thrown out based on Guevara's actions. Live today at the courthouse, Bruno Tumulty, WGN News.